I give you the game. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine. Tired, but fine. <laughs> Tired, but fine. Yes, I know. But it's Friday, okay? Yes. And the body knows. <laughs> yes. Everything knows. <laughs> Do you work Saturdays? Uh, some, uh, for example, tomorrow, yes, I'm going to work. Ah, all right, okay. And do you work all day? Doris? Ah? What, perdón? Do you work all day, Saturdays? No, until 12. Okay, all right, that's nice. Hi, Ever. How are you? Good evening, today? everyone. All right, very good. Nice. Teacher, you do you hear me? Okay, or or entre contado, entre cortado, me escucha bien. Escucho bien. Me escucha bien. Ah, okay. Es que me Yo me frizo, pero en, en, mi, en, mi, en mi imagen veo que me frizo por momentos. Entonces yo pensé que me estaba fallando. Yo lo escucho bien, Eder. Ok, thank you. Gracias, teacher. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Hi, Leti. Hi, teacher. How are you today, Leti? I'm fine, teacher. I'm a little tired. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it's the body know. <laughs> yeah. um, ¿Cómo se llama? Doris was telling me, right, Doris? All right, very good. Let's see here. What about, let me see what else I have here. Carlitos, vi que Carlitos estaba manejando con cuidado. Claudia. All right, Trini, Carlita. Bane and Gabby. Excellent. Very nice. So it's Friday. A ver cuántos entran a clase ahora porque es viernes y de repente así como que se dan a la fuga. No tienen que, pero <laughs> se me escapan de repente. Pero... Los viernes debería durar una hora. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mire, Doris, pero Hi, Claudita. I am at work. Okay. Um, okay, no se preocupe. Ahí está. Thank you. Thank, thank you, teacher. All right. Doris, if, solo piense que falta la otra semana. Luego, sí. vacación, porque está, entramos a las vacaciones de Semana Santa. Va a descansar. Y luego regresa una semana cargadita y luego vuelve a descansar unas dos semanas por lo menos. Hasta el siguiente. Eso le iba, eso le iba a preguntar como yo soy nueva en esto. Vaya, entonces el, el, el módulo se termina el viernes 22. Ahorita le reviso. Viernes 22, así. A ver. ¿Y cuándo empieza el otro? Por lo general, Doris, se tiende a descansar dos semanas. Ah, entonces digamos que empezaría si fuera 29, como el viernes 13 de mayo, por ahí, ¿verdad? Más o menos. Teacher. En esa semana del 9 al 13, por ahí más o menos. Ok. Teacher. Con, refer con referente a eso... Eh... Yo ya tuve eh, contacto con la reinscripción. Yo ya mandé la documentación. Okay. Y estoy, estoy viendo en el correo que dice que ya tienen una fecha tentativa de inicio. Pero... Ah, 
¿De veras? No lo encuentro. Sí, sí, no lo encuentro, pero al parecer... De 18 día, creo, de abril, 18. dice. Ah, sí, a mí, me, ah, sí a, mí, a mí me cayó el WhatsApp y dice fecha límite de inscripción 8 de abril, fecha tentativa 18 de abril. Correcto, correcto, ese mismo recibió. Entonces, como que dice, eh, medio nos vamos a sacudir la arena de vacaciones, dos, tres días de descanso y vámonos para el segundo. Solo no está que, bien. Por... Solo que no puede ser. <risa> Ay, qué error. No puede, ¿por qué no puede? Por, ah, ¿Por qué, teacher? No puede ser. A ver, dígame. Mira, no, porque nosotros terminamos. Mm. Quizás por eso ponen tentativo, ¿verdad? Ah. O sea, bien podría ser la siguiente semana, vaya. Como el 25. Sí. Es que es así, uh -huh. así siempre ponen ellos una fecha, pero no se arranca esa fecha. Siempre se arranca unos siete días después de esa fecha. Ajá, quizás, bueno. Ese es solo para, para cubrir requisitos que en el trabajo le piden a uno. O sea, que solo no falta esta semana que viene. O sea, que el 8 de abril terminamos nosotros. No, el 8 se va de vacaciones. 8 es el último día antes de vacaciones. Ajá. Luego regresamos ah. el 18 y terminamos el 22. Ok, ok. El siguiente modo, ah, okay. si ustedes mandan todo a tiempo, <risa> podría, con, con suerte voy a decir, ser de corrido y empezar 25, aunque no sé. Pero bien, podría. Pero en mayo arranca. O sea, de, pero verdad que eso más depende de bueno, como es mi primera vez ya es de recursos humanos por parte de la empresa ¿verdad? ¿el qué, Dorisita? Eh, los documentos y todo eso permítame sí, lo que le recomiendo Doris es que usted esté pendiente ¿Verdad? Porque de repente, obviamente, las personas de recursos humanos tienen muchas cosas que hacer y pues se les va, ¿verdad? Eh, que tienen que mandar la fe, la, la, todas las hojas y todo lo que usted necesita para la reinscripción. Entonces, a veces pierden o se les olvida la fecha límite. Entonces, ahí es donde pasa que o se quedó sin inscripción o solo quedó como oyente, aunque no pasa nada si está como oyente, usted está igual en la clase, ¿verdad? Pero eh, la idea es que esté ya inscrita con todo, con todo lo que tiene que estar inscrito. Mm, bueno. Sí, Doris, le sugiero que usted ahí esté pendiente, ¿verdad? Así como medio pushing. Ya lo mandó, ya lo mandó. Ya lo... Sí, porque hoy le rendí el mensaje a ella y le dije, mira, esto me acaban de mandar. Sí, me dijo. Ahí lo vemos la otra semana. Vale. <risa> <risa> Pero de verdad, le digo. <risa> oh. Sí, entonces... Teacher, sé que los días de vacación no vamos a ver nada. ¡No! ¡Vacation! ¡No! <risa> Domingo, el último día que nos vamos a ver es el 8 de abril. Luego nos vamos toda la semana de, desde el o sea, 9 hasta el 17, entiendo yo, de abril, ah. que sería domingo, y al lunes uh -huh. regresamos a la última semana del módulo. A terminar viernes 22. A terminar, exacto, sí. Porque acuérdese que ahora ya los intermedios duran cinco semanas. Uh -huh. Y de ahí el viernes 22 nos vamos a ir a cenar. Virtualmente nos vamos ah. a... ¿Dónde? Jorgito. Hacer una, hacer una parrillada. Pues sí, es para celebrar que cerremos el módulo teacher. Jorgito, ¿usted está manejando? Ah, no, hoy no está manejando. Jorge. No, por primera vez, ¿no? <ríe> Para la playa, vamos, dicen. Vayan, vámonos, vámonos al Tunco el viernes 22. <ríe> ya vio que es así como que... Ya hablaron, a mí no me digan dos veces. Ah, vámonos. <ríe> Entonces, igual para los demás compañeros y compañeras, acuérdense que la fe, fecha última del módulo es viernes 22 porque tenemos una semana de vacación. All right? Entonces, 
eh, esa semana la van a descansar. Entonces, todavía nos falta la otra y luego completa y luego entramos a una semana de vacación y regresamos a la última y terminamos el intermedio uno. All right. Ahora, no solo depende también de recursos humanos. Acuérdese que sí necesito que eh, usted termine su plataforma a tiempo, porque lo que pasa es que si usted no termina la plataforma a tiempo, eso atrasa todo el proceso administrativo, ¿verdad? Entonces sí es importante que todos y todas terminen la plataforma cuando debe ser. Acuérdese. Hoy son más largas las tareas, dicho. Mándeme. Hoy son más largas las tareas, ¿verdad? Sí, pues sí. All right. Hay más y acuérdese igual que tienen que hacer el examen de medio curso. All right. Porque ya practico. hoy prácticamente hemos terminado la unidad 2. Entonces después de la unidad 2 vamos con la, el examen. Regáleme un segundito, please. Sorry, guys. Thank you. All right. Entonces, ¿hay alguna otra pregunta sobre el inicio o finalización de este curso? Tiche, una, una preguntita. ¿El examen de medio curso tiene que ser ahora? Tiene que terminarlo el fin de semana, Claudita. Ok. All right. Ya yeah. cuando regresemos el lunes, ya iniciemos la unidad 3. Ok. Thank you. Excellent. All right. ¿Quién, ¿Quiénes ya hicieron el examen? Manitas arriba. Excellent. Very nice. All right. Nadie... Solo que, solo, perdón, perdón. Solo que en esos ejercicios siempre me salen malo y le cambié el apóstrofe. En los que me había dicho, Doris. Mm -hmm. En el 5, eso quería ver a, a revisar ahorita en el en el 5 y si no me recuerdo es el 3, no me acuerdo bien. Y le puse el apóstrofe y siempre me sale malo. Bueno, si gusta, Doris, mándeme una captura en, en el WhatsApp, a mi WhatsApp. Va. Yo se lo veo ahí y en cuando están ya trabajando en grupos, este, vemos, vemos ahí. All right. Bye. Excellent, guys. Very good. Okay. So, yesterday we were talking. Ah, bueno, ya voy a pasar a asistencia. We were talking about some vocabulary words, all right. ¿Se recuerdan algunas de las vocabulary que teníamos ahí sin ver cuaderno? Here, do you remember the words? There. Um, Probably. Dirty. Yes, very good. Dirty things. Uh, sink. Another uh, one. Container. Segura que era container. Dispenser. Ah, dispenser. <laughs> dispenser. <laughs> dispenser. <laughs> Okay, very good. Spencer, <laughs> dirt, okay. Um, Roberto, Finally. ya lo leí. A ver, dispenser, dirt. Sink. Excuse Sink. me, one more. Sink. Sink, yes. Throwly. And, and throwly. Throwly, yes. Never um, no, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. otra. Designer. Designated. Ah, designated. Designated, yes. All right, what else? Sink. What? Sink. Sink. Sink, yes. Sink. Sink. All right, very nice. Okay. Entonces, that's what we were watching about yesterday. On... Dispenser, very right loud. Sí, dispenser. ¿Dónde está mi lista ahora? Oh, ya me acordé. Oh, my goodness. Where's my list? Can say, well, aquí está mi list. <laughs> All right. Very good. I'm going to take attendance and then we keep on working with what we have to do. All right. So here we have Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Trini? Yes, Thank you, Trini. Yo le escuché. Very good. All right. Hold on, guys. And we have uh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. 
Thank you, Claudita. Daniel, Daniel Antonio Luna. Oh, Danielito, what happened to Daniel today? Uh, David Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Hi, Debbie. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present, teacher. Tony Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Albe Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present, teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Thank you, Roberto. Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you, Vane. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Presente. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. All right. And we have Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, very good. Okay, so because today is Friday and it's the last class of the week and the last class of unit two, we're going to make a review of the things we have studied, all right, during the whole unit two. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to review everything we have done in unit two. Let's go right now, please, to your books. All right, this is unit one. All right, vamos a ver aquí. Solo para mostrarles algo y luego regreso al principio de la unit two. This is what we did yesterday, page 24. This is what we were talking about yesterday, ¿verdad? Dispenser, dirt, designated, sink, throwly. All right, so this is the vocabulary we saw yesterday. And yesterday, quedamos pendientes con these two questions. Number one, are procedure posters display in some areas in your workplace? Number two, do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the process? I mean, sorry, the procedure and why? So here we have two questions, all right? Now, I believe you guys did this yesterday. Question number one, I will ask you this question now. Are procedure posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? Let me see. Mariano, do you have in your workplace, do you have posters displayed about procedures? Not to share. No, all right. In my, in okay. my workplace, no. All right, that's okay. Domingo, what about in your workplace? Do you have poster procedures? Yes, teacher. I, I, I poster uh, procedure poster spray mm -hmm. um, the pasillos. Or come on, the pasillo de... Always on the hallways. On the hallways, and um, is is shown the the product the chemical product. Okay. Ah, all right. Okay. Uh huh. I uh uh, 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 uh poster a uh, procedure poster the the uh, warning what uh, the question ma. the warning. Wa yes. Ah, uh, the warning. Yeah. Uh huh. The 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 con contact chemical. All right. Uh -huh. like the chemicals. All right. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, oh, oh, the chemicals. Um, uh, is uh, the procedures poster display and uh, the use group uh, use group or uh, group use the procedures the mach machines. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh -huh. Okay. I, 
I'll, 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 I'll post her. Uh, all right, okay. interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on, guys. All right, very good. Johnny, what about at school? Do you have poster procedures in the school? Only for evacuations. Ah, okay. All right. So, but you have one, right? Yes. Ah, very nice. Okay. What about Doris? In your work, do you have a poster procedure? In, yes, there are, but in this case, it's about COVID prevent. Ah, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay. And, and only that. On only that one. All right, very good. Walter, that's a big dog. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a litter. All right, it's closed. We need to go around. All right, very good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Debbie, what about in your workplace? Do you have poster procedures? No, teacher. No? We don't have. All right, very good. Yeah. Bonnie, in your, in your uh, factory, do you have poster procedures? No, no, a teacher, it doesn't have to do. Okay. No one. Okay, all right. What about Ever? Do you have poster procedures at your workplace? No, teacher, we don't have poster procedures. Mm, okay, I okay. better have a job. And... <laughs> all right, okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's okay. Okay, let's see. What about, let me see here. Who else? I see teacher. Excuse me? I'm, I see. Oh, very nice. And what does that mean, uh, Domingo? No smoking. No, it's, it's vapor. Ah, vapor. Oh. Uh, tempera temperature. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. It's contact uh, and no contact and no contact yeah. yes no, huh? no contact with vapor uh -huh. yeah. okay very good interesting all right let's see one more what about leti do you have poster procedures at work yes teacher only in the kitchen hurry okay all right okay that's interesting now the second question was do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate procedures. What do you guys think? Are checklists like good to evaluate procedures? Yes or no, and why? What do you guys think? Hola, me, me, me congelé yo. Hola. Yes, it's important. Yeah, teacher. <laughs> Repeat the question, teacher. All right. I don't even remember the question anymore because I don't know if you're listening. All right, I ask you, Ms. Kuchan. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. I ask you if, if you think the check, a checklist, all right, no es muy parecido, voy a decir a un survey, all right, pero ya el checklist es dentro, es dentro yeah. de, la, de la empresa, all right, for the employees, all right. Now, do you think a checklist is effective to evaluate procedures. Oh, just to share. Uh, checklist or oh, checklist. Checklist. Aha, uh -huh. Mariano. Checklist. Uh, yes, yeah. because it's important to evaluate uh, a different areas and procedure of these areas. Okay. All right. Um, I think um, maybe because um, a checklist is not a, the like the best option to to um para calificar 
okay. the procedures only to um, know if something has been done or no. Right. No, I, so I think it's not to evaluate. All right, so you think it's not to evaluate, but it's just to check, all right? To check if something is being done. All right, yeah, all right. That's what you have in your book, right? That's why I was asking it that way, but yeah, you, you make sense, Gabby, thank you. All right, so here we have this. Let's go back, guys, to... All right, this is what... We're going to review unit two, as I said. Let me just share this with you. Wow, I can't share this today. All right, so this is everything we have studied in unit two. All right, because yeah, that was unit one. All right, we were looking at steps, all right, to take an order, all right? We use this vocabulary. Remember, we studied handled, confirm, payment, greeting, notify, all right? Ese fue uno de los vocabularios que vimos, all right, before that. We also used this one, throwing food, hand washing, sanitizing, food storage, purchase, and testing method. All right, so these ones, these were some procedures and their descriptions, all right? We also talked about these words. ¿Alguien se acuerda cómo se llaman esas words that we saw? ¿Cómo se llaman esas palabras? Connecting. Oh. Oh, connecting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Transition expressions, all right? Yes. They are connecting words because some transition expressions that we use to connect or uh, to connect ideas, all right? So yes, we have this one, all right? Aparte de estas que están en el libro o en su manual, I shared with you other, other words, all right? And we have been using them throughout the whole um, unit, all right? After yeah. that, we saw this one. Uh, it would be better, all right? So remember that when you give a strong suggestion, you say it would be better, okay? Now, then we have this one, the training manual. We had the training manual and when we had to put them in order, all right? So we also saw this would be better situation thing. And we, yesterday, we were, or the day before, we were talking about this basic survey or checklist, all right, that we need to do. Okay, and then finally, we got through here, all right? So this is what we got, we are going to do now. I just want to share this with you. All right, hold on. I'm going to share this. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, so here we have, when we make procedures, all right, or when we create them, when we talk about procedures, there are four pillars of procedures. Do you understand the word pillar? What is a pillar? Pillar. Pillar. All right, yes, all right. So there are four pillars that we need to take into account. One of them, a ver, que me ayuda? Ever, can you read the first one, the pink one? Goal I am. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Okay. Thank you. Is that, uh, the green one, Debbie? Steps. 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 How will it be done? How it will be done. Very good. All right, Johnny, number three, or the orange one. Resources. What will I need? Okay. And the last one, Walter? Conclusion, how done it, what's next? Okay, what, 
I um, have I done it and what is next all right so this is important just maybe you in the future you have to write a procedure about something in your work all right so you need to uh, you need to take these four pillars to make procedures successful number one is the goal or the aim aim is un sinonimo de la palabra goal en otras palabras objective si yo le digo what is your goal in life what is your aim what is your objective all right todos esos son sinónimos all right what are you going to do all right you say ah oh, well we're going to make a procedure about uh safety in the kitchen for example if you're working for a restaurant okay so my goal is to prevent accidents okay now then I need to make the steps. Que se acuerda que era first, next, finally, last but not least, afterwards. Ahí caben esas palabras in the, in the second pillar, steps. Then we need resources. What are resources? What is resources for you? ¿Cómo definimos resources? Solution. Yeah. It could be, tools. all right, tools. tools. Yes. Uh, I think we are need to make something. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. Some, uh -huh. The thing that we need to make another thing, all right? The resource, the what, the with what are we going to make it? And then finally, we have a conclusion, all right? Now, the last classes, guys, hicimos unos procedures, pero los habíamos escrito. Okay, yes. All right, now we are going to make it differently. Y aquí van a usar sus, um, sus abilities or sus skills, like computer skills. All right, ya voy a, deja, uh, voy a permitir que compartan pantalla antes que Johnny me regañe. All right, hoy me adelanté, Johnny. Permítame. I am a good teacher. Yes, yes you are, my friend, Johnny. Very good. Okay. So now I want you to do two things, all right? De estos four pillars of procedures, vamos a concentrarnos en dos. The pink one, le voy a llamar pink porque es en rosadito. The pink one and the green one. No nos vamos a meter ahorita on the orange one or the blue one. No resources, no conclusion. Right now, we're going to work on goal and steps, all right? But... The difference is the following. Usted me va a hacer y me van a hacer como una presentación de PowerPoint, como usted quiera, los recursos que usted tenga a la mano. All right. Los, la mayoría estamos trabajando en tablet o en computer. Si están trabajando en teléfono, se complica un poquito más. Y si no tiene nada de eso, lo puede hacer a lápiz y papel, le toma foto y lo sube. No hay problema. All right. The idea is that you do it. Now, usted va a escoger, um, ¿cómo le digo? For example, I will, yo si yo estoy trabajando con mi grupo, vamos a escoger que vamos a hacer procedures solo, solo dentro del restaurante, solo para the kitchen, the kitchen procedures, all right? Solo para las personas, eh, no solo las personas, el departamento de cocina. ¿Por qué? Porque de repente si no se siguen los procedimientos, los procesos, alguien puede salir lastimado. All right, entonces, ¿cuál es mi goal? The kitchen stuff, all right? The safety of the kitchen stuff, all right? Esa sería nada más, es una línea nada más. Esa sí la ponen en línea, eh, escrita. Cuando lleguemos a los steps, quiero five steps dentro de sus procedures, pero no quiero palabras, quiero imágenes, all right? Porque vamos a hacer como un poster, así como lo que estábamos hablando. Do you have a poster of procedures? De repente, cuando vemos las imágenes, la gente es como que más, eh, si es muy visual, se le queda más la información viendo el dibujito que leyendo. Entonces, solo me va a poner, me va a poner five steps dentro de la safety of the kitchen, por ejemplo. Y me va a poner cinco dibujos. Cuando usted regrese, va a presentar, igual como lo estoy presentando yo, su poster 
solo con las pictures y cada quien del grupo me va a hablar de cada procedure que está ahí. Si solo son tres en el grupo, se dividen. Entonces, ¿sabe qué? Voy a hacer grupos de tres y quiero seis steps para que cada quien me describa dos. All right. Sin palabras. No quiero palabras ahí en su poster. Solo pictures. Usted me va a contar. All right. Yes. Yes, to share. Uy, qué largo era eso. <laughs> All right. Ok, entonces, ¿para quién vas? ¿Cuál es el objetivo? ¿Quién es el objetivo? Usted decide. Puede ser dentro, piense dentro de su oficina, por ejemplo, Domingo que trabaja con electricidad. All right. Dentro de la oficina, ¿a quién? ¿Para quién va a ser dirigido este procedure manual? All right. ¿Para quiénes? Para las personas que están activas o constantemente tocando cosas eléctricas. All right, si ustedes trabajan con químicos, all right, for whom? Vamos a hablar de seguridad o va a hablar de cómo tratar al cliente. Eso usted lo decide en su grupo. You decide. All right, pero luego quiero los steps de ese procedure only in pictures. No words. Son seis. Dos por cada uno. All right, y regresamos acá. You show me the images. Y Mariano, por decir algo, me va a explicar los primeros dos procedures. All right. Y hoy, hoy va a tener que, no lo, va a, no lo van a poder leer porque no hay palabras ahora. Only images. Ok. Yes. All right. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Hágalo lindo. <laughs> All right. Very good. Hold on, guys. Quiero ver. Somos... 16. Creo que me va a quedar un grupo. Bueno, Claudita no puede participar, está en el trabajo. Victoria, Leti y Carlos, ¿cómo están? ¿Pueden participar? Yes, teacher. Okay, Leti, Carlos, and Victoria. No, teacher. Okay. ¿Y Victoria? Yes, teacher. All right. Entonces, Claudia and Carlos, ¿los voy a mover de grupo? Sí, Claudita, yo sé. Yo sé que usted está escuchando ahí. All right. Y los demás nos vamos entonces. Ustedes escojan para quién va a ser ese, para qué departamento de X trabajo lo van a hacer y seis imágenes. Explaining the procedures, pero sin palabras, solo imagen. Empiecen a unirse y yo ya muevo a Cla Claudia y Carlos, quédense en este grupo para no, que no se vayan a los grupos pequeños todavía. All right, guys, let's go.
Ay, Roberto, vaya, no se preocupe, no hay problema.
Y teacher me volví a salir por error. No sé qué toco y me salgo. Debbie, qué barbaridad, Debbie. No, son mentiras. ¿En cuál estaba, Debita? Con, ay, con Leti. Leti, Mariano. Sí. Sí. ¿Cómo van? Ya casi, no. ¿Cómo iban, Debbie? Ahí vamos, ahí vamos, más o menos. Okay. Ya eligiendo cuáles. Ah, vale, sí, porque no quiero interrumpirles para no sacarlos antes. Ajá. Ok, ok, gracias. Ahorita voy, ahorita voy. ¿Vaya?
Ajá. Sí, pero... Le puedo colocar... <risa> la, la, la tercera no está cambiada con la del elevador. No parece eh, elevador. Domingo no, esta. Está, la dirección. Esta. La, 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 ajá, esa está en la imagen distinta. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi. ¿Cuánto les falta más o menos para no interrumpirles? Eh, around two or three minutes. Okay, that's fine. Solo, solo, solo estamos ultimando detalles ya. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Lo puedo enumerar. Hi, teacher. Sí. Hi, Walter, perdone, perdone. Uh, are you guys finished? Yes, I think so. Okay, very good. All right. Solo estoy esperando dos o tres grupos más y ya están terminando ellos también. Okay. Thank you. Okay. E es, es siempre un noun. If you want a verb, always use still. Entonces, con doble L. Entonces sería cells. Ahí está bien porque es cells. Cell, cell, cell. Ajá. Entonces abajo sería siempre lo mismo. Cell porque es un nombre, no estamos diciendo. No, el verbo. Ah, no, el verbo. Ajá. Which one could it be, teacher? No, la venta, ¿verdad? No a vender. Ajá, sales está procedure. Ajá, sales increase. Ajá. ajá. Sería, ajá, no, el verbo. El verbo sí es sell. Y la pronunciación dice es igual. Pretty much. Sales. Sales and sales. Yes. Eh, it depends on the el contexto. And so that's okay. Sales staff procedures and sales increase. You see? Okay. Very good. Ya okay. está terminando, ¿verdad? I learned something today. Uh -huh. Excellent, Vanessa. <laughs> well, you're almost finished, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Unos dos minutitos empieza a sacarlos a todos. Yo solo estoy Okay. Okay. Fair. Okay. Uh -huh. Entré mal, no era aquí. <ríe> Sorry. <ríe> Ups. Ajá, adelante, buscando a Trini y a Johnny. All right, bye. <ríe> Hi, Johnny. Hi, Trini. Finished? Hi, teacher. Sí. Excellent. Solo hicieron cuatro. Sí, porque solo estamos los dos. <laughs> Como usted dijo, dos cada una. Very good. Uh -huh. Very nice. ¿Y qué se hizo Johnny? Um, no sé, tuvo una emergencia quizá. <laughs> ah, ok. Pero ya terminaron, ¿verdad, Trini? Sí. All right. Ya casi lo saco. Solo entro a un grupo más y lo saco. Terminamos. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Quiero ver. This one done. Ok. Mariano, Debbie, Claudita, Leti, finished? Thank you, Cher. Yes. <laughs> Debbie, así como... <laughs> What happened, Debbie? All right. Okay, entonces... Uh, vamos a regresar. Voy a cerrar las salas, okay? Okay. Okay.
All right, everybody's back now. Yes, all right. Well, no, I think we have, we're missing some people. All right, the group number one is Debbie, Leti, and Mariano. Mariano, is it? You're uh, always first, Mariano. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Group number two is Ever, Jorgito, and Domingo. Group number three is Carla, Victoria, and Walter. Four, Doris, Gabby, and Vane. And five, Trini, and Johnny. All right. Let's see. Number one. It's, yeah, Debbie, Leti, and Mariano. Claudita está oyendo. All right, very nice. Comenzamos. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> okay. Se puede ver. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Procedures to fly safe. Uh, before traveling, seek medical advice if you feel unwell. The second, remember to wear your face covering or mask throughout the journey. Okay. Leti. <clears throat> Leti. I forget to the audio <laughs> about touching your eye, nose, and mouth. And the other uh, sanitizing our hands, or clean, clean the hands using a cold. Uh, um soap and water too okay uh, mariano number five uh, use a social distance or physical distance in the airport and in the airplane uh, in case of a cow and flu uh, use a or oh, cover the mount with a, a paper towel towel, towel. And the other one, the last, uh, infer a uh, cabin crew in case of you become sick. All right. Okay. Procedure supply safe. I like that. I like the images. That's nice. Yay. Very good. Very nice. Thank you. Lastima que no lo vio Daniel because Daniel relates to planes too. Ah, <laughs> cabal. Nice, Mariano, Debian, Leti. Excellent. Thank you. Thank like you. All right, group number two. Ma, Manuel, hi. Hi. Hi, Manuel. Good. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. That's okay, Manuel. No se preocupe. Thank you. Next group. Okay. We oui, teacher. Okay, Domingo, help me. And share the, the, the screen. Teacher, we made some procedures that you can find in any building that requires the protocols to follow and to evacuate in case of emergency. Okay. Emergency, okay. Yes. Okay, um, uh, Domingo first, please. Okay. Domingo, have the microphone off. Domingo? Excuse me. <laughs> 
And number one, uh, keep calm and things a safe place. Okay. Uh, number two is uh, remember social of spring. Okay. Uh, number B, uh, stay away from objects of la or lamps that can go fall. Okay. Uh, don't use the elevators. Ah, all right. And number five, uh, search a safe place to protect yourself. And number six, search the evacuation route and find the meeting point. Oh, nice, okay. All right, nice, I like that. Yep, evacuation procedures in case of emergencies. Very nice, all right. So this can actually be for earthquake, right? All right, very good. Let's see. Me congelé? Hola, hola. No. Okay. All right. That's okay. No, teacher. No. All right. Fine. Thank you. Okay. Number three, Carlita, Victoria, and Walter. Okay, teacher. I show you the, my window. Okay. So, okay. So we work in the prestigious service in the table. Our goal is satisfy the customers and provide an excellent service. Excellent. The states are, uh, Vicky, can you help me? Clean the table. Um, um, cleaning the table is, is one of the first procedures in the restaurant for a customer service. Keeping the table in the place clean to have a good impression. And the number, number, uh, number two, um, sitting table. Once the client enters, it is important seeing a table and offer the menu. In the number three is offer the menu. And with this, the client can see all option to, to make to order. And in this line, the waitress to order to certainly to climb and, and next uh, Carlita. Five, uh, take the order to the kitchen so they can prepare the dish. Six, bring to the table where the customer is sitting the dish that has been coordinator in advance. All right, okay, I like it. Very nice, I like how it's, everything is organized and I like that. You have the pillar one and pillar two. Very good, excellent, thank you. All right, the goal, what is the goal? To satisfy the customer and provide an excellent service. Very nice, thank you guys, thank you. Thank you. All right, nice, I like it. Very good, let's see, next group. We have number four, Doris, Gabby, and Vanny. Yes, one moment. Okay. Okay. Sales staff procedures. Goals, sales increase. 
steps. And number one is good attitude. When the seller has a good attitude, it's important that uh, because uh, has to be polite and uh, principle and the seller has to offer the product or service that the client need to know. Uh, after that, reach goals. It's important work about goals because if the seller has goals, he's work more because he need earn money when you get it. Okay. And the other one. The third is don't give up because the seller staff have to work in order to increase them themselves. So they need to visit the customer and offer the product. The next one is be organized. Okay. It's important because they handle a lot of documents and they have to um, follow the schedule and visit or go a, a meeting. So they, they have to know what they have to do. Okay. Uh, next step is, uh, is listen, because if we listen what our custom our customer needs, we are going to know what they really uh, we can what we can offer them, so we can guide them uh, in the right way. The next step, I think that is the most important is always be honest because if we lie to our customer just to make a sale, we they are not they are not going to trust in us again. So we are going to lose not lost not one client. Uh, they are going to uh, she or he will tell them friends don't buy her or don't trust her because she's a liar. So I think this is the most important point in not to lie to our customers and that's all. Very good girls, thank you. I like it, Very, I like the pictures too. And you have the, the pillar one, the, the aim and the goal, right? Is sales increase, all right? That's your, yes. that's your goal, very good, nice. Yes. I like it. All right, perfect, thank you. Let's see the other group here we have. Johnny and Trini. Okay. Um, um, okay. Academic re registry. Aula upload qualifications. Okay, and Rini, I don't know, I'm I first or you? Yes. <laughs> the secretary received the qualification from the teacher. Okay. And number two, this she saw the qualification for grade. Sir, the secretary upload the qualification to CIGES. And four, she prints the prints the report or qualification for a student. Okay. All right. Interesante porque Johnny and Trini are both teachers. <laughs> so that was like a, a, yes. a matching point. Very nice. All right, I like your pictures too. Yo, no, yo creo que fue <laughs> <laughs> La to them. Very nice, Tini. Super nice. All right. So that's the whole point, guys. You know, sometimes um, we usually read what we have to say, but I think it's also important that we know how to express ourselves only by looking at images and then we can explain what we want to say, all right? So I think it's a good exercise for you to practice speaking, in this case, English, just by looking at a picture, all right? And trying to explain what you want to say and what you want 
your audience to hear and understand. So that was very well done. Thank you. That was super well done. All right, um, we're going to do one more practice. Remember that today is the review. So that's why we did this review right now. Am I frozen? No? No. Okay. No. All right, okay. Es que de repente a todos los veo así como frozen. No sé si soy yo. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do this, guys, right now. Hold on. Solo no encuentro aquí. Uh, no. It's this one. All right, I want you to do this. Give me a second. It's this one. Remember that we were talking about transition words, right? So what I want you to do is this. I'm gonna share this with you. Lo van a tomar foto. All right, take a picture of this right now. Debbie says, my picture girl, mandelo al grupo, please. <laughs> Ready? All right, what are you going to do? Here it says transition signals or transi transition words or expressions. You have to read one by one. All right, and decide, for example, number one, I lost my keys. I later found them under the table. In fact, for example, or however, ustedes, you choose the right expression or the right word. All right, y así se van con las 16 que están ahí. All right, ready? Hoy sí, Manuelito, hoy sí va a participar, ¿verdad? Yes, all right, let's go guys. Ya mandaron la imagen. Yes. Yeah, all right, perfect. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, yes, David did it. Yeah, all right, thank you, David. All right, perfect. Welcome, no okay. sé si la logran ver bien. Sí, de todas maneras creo que la pueden ampliar. Yeah, la pueden ampliar. All right, let's go guys. Vayan leyendo. La idea es que vayan leyendo. Practice reading, practice pronunciation, and practice the expressions. I lost my Manuel, ya lo uní a un grupo.
learning a new language is fun and take a lot of time. Mm. Learning a new language is fun, fun in a in it take a lot of time. Because of this, finally, on the other hand, learning the new language is fun. In okay. short, yes. Because sure. it's the, the concept for everyone. Say, Susan, here, I'm here, I am here. In short, or in, it's like uh, in synthesis, sure, uh -huh, we're, we're all here. We're here, yes. In short. Yeah. And number 12. I was in another city. I didn't rob the bank. What do you think, George?
Se está muriendo del sueño. Muy Sorry. Bien. Ya casi, ya casi. Five minutes. Let's go. All right, veamos. Despierta. All right, Doris, solo por eso. Doris, number one. Léala y dígame la respuesta. <laughs> uh, okay. I lost my kids. However, I later found. All right. However, I later found them under the table. Okay. Yes. Very good. Number two, Debbie. Por burlo a nadie. <laughs> John forget to study for the test. Uh, of course, he got a very low grade. Okay. Very nice. Let's see. Walter, can you do three? The song is very large. Uh, in fact, more than one million years go for inside. The sun is very large. In fact, more than one million Earth could fit inside it. All right, yes, in fact, very nice. Thank you. Um, Gavi, number four. I didn't have time to eat breakfast. Um, as a result, he got. Uh, as a result, I'm really hungry now. Yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Next one, we have Carlita. Five. Oh. Okay. Chair is. Uh, he waiting the ten minutes for the bus. Um, in so many, he got on it and went to school, little A. Which one do you have? Then? Little A. In summary. In summary. A ver, Carlita, he waited 10 minutes for the bus. Mm. What about the rest of you guys? What do you have for number five? Then. Yeah. Then he got on it and went to school. I think so. I think okay. it's then. Okay. All right. Very good. I ever number six. Okay, teacher, let me, let me see. Number six, space travel isn't easy. Mm, indeed, only 12 people have walked on the moon. Excellent, mire que bien se lo yo ese verbo, Ever. Walked, very nice. Really? Yes, very nice. All right, Bonnie, next one, uh, number seven. Cooking is unhealthy. Moreover, it's an expensive habit. <laughs> yeah. All right, moreover. Auma, ¿verdad? Very nice. Domingo, number eight. Lo voy a subir un poquito, Domingo. Ajá. Uh, first, I went shopping. I swear, I went home and cooking dinner. First, I went shopping. After uh, I went home. Afterwards, I went home. I cooked dinner. And cooked dinner. Very nice. I Hagamos... cooked dinner. Yes, very nice. Hagamos hasta la diez. Johnny, number nine. Okay. The storm. The storm was severe. Severe. Uh huh. Uh, severe. Indeed, many homes were destroyed. Destroyed. All right, the storm was severe. Indeed, many homes were destroyed. All right, very good, makes sense. Manuel, number 10. Number 10, okay. Number 10, our teacher was sick. As a result, uh, she was absent yesterday. Very good, Manuel, yes, as a result, he was absent yesterday, all right? 
Ah, está cerrado. All right, very good. Okay, guys, thank you. I'm going to stop sharing this and I'm going to take the last attendance. Acuérdense que nos queda pendiente entonces el examen si no lo han logrado terminar para el fin de semana, para ya el lunes empezar Unit 3. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Presente. Daniel Antonio Luna. Debbie Yasmín Girón Ramírez. Presente, Chef. Domingo Alexander González. Presente, Chef. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Presente, Chef. Antonio Omar Torres Mata. Presente. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Presente. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. All right, thank you. Um, Carla Benacir Lara González. Present. Thank you, Carlita. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present, teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present, teacher. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present, teacher. Y Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Present. <laughs> Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, thank you so much. All right, Manuel, hoy le toca a usted quedarse un ratitito, Manuel, oye. <laughs> All right, the rest of you, bye, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend y trabajamos en el examen de medio curso. Bye, bye now. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. bye, teacher. Happy weekend. You too, Vane. Rest. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Manuel Antonio Escamilla, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Excellent, Manuel. Very good. Uh, Manuel, these minutes are just to see if you have any questions about everything that we have studied in class. Okay. Do you have any questions whatsoever, Manuel? Oh, it's I. Oh, sorry, teacher. And sometimes I have I have a time. Um, I I have a time uh, when you when you teach when you teach the class. And I, but um, but uh, your 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 class is nice uh, always when when I when I uh, I when I, when I hear uh, and your class is always uh, I I understand you. Okay. Um, now is I don't have a question for okay. for the class. All right, okay, that's okay, Manuel. All right, with the platform, everything okay, Manuel? Oh no, no teacher is I I think so is the the field the field platform. Uh huh. Is. The odd, the next the next week I have a problem with I uh, now I I write the, the the report for for my for my job. Ah okay, all right okay. Well that's okay, Manuel. I mean, you still have some time, but make sure that you work on your platform. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes, yes, I I. 
I know, I know is the the work and, and the plat and the platform and and only only I can I can learn English and where uh, and the and the field and the plat and the field platform field platform. Yes. All right. Okay. All right, Manuel. Thank you for being in class. All right. I will see you Monday. Have a nice weekend, Manuel. Thank you, teacher. Have a nice weekend. Sorry for always <laughs> Lay, later in I, I, later in your class. Yes, I understand. You guys are busy, and you all of you work. All right, but what is important, Manuel, is that you always join the class. That's good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Very good. Thank you, Manuel. I will see Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. Yeah. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.